what was was there any like f- financial stuff or business stuff that you realized like throughout your life and career that you were like I wish I knew this this is something people should know I figured it out early but I'll tell yeah. you the key is don't start spending money until you have passive income okay mm. the idea that as soon as you get a certain amount in the bank you go out and spend it is death that means you'll be working every day the rest of your life what i did was i never owned a car i had a company car i never had enough money to buy a car when i was in college my first job out of college they gave me a company car mm. at that point i was hooked i go no car payment no gas no maintenance no nothing until i formed my own company I never owned a car until I was 33 years old. Every month, it shows you how old I am, I put $350 in the bank because that's what it would have been for the car payment, the gas, and the maintenance and the insurance. At the end of two and a half years, I had 10 grand saved up. I put a down payment on a condo, bought a condo. Back then, they had straight line depreciation. A year and a half later, I got a $5,000 income tax refund because I owned this condo. I had saved up another five grand. I bought another one. A year and a half later, I got an eight grand tax refund. I bought a third one. So I bought four of these condos in a place called the Sea Spray Condominium Complex in Huntington Beach. So I bought four of them in between 1983 and 1986. I kept them and everyone kept saying, oh, you need to buy a little Mercedes. You know, I go, I got a Buick Skylark. That's a nerd car. I go, it gets me where I want to go. That's all I need, right? So I kept investing. I kept those condos for... 16 years. I bought each one. The lowest I paid was, I'm a freak for numbers, 88.2. The highest I paid was 91.4. So I sold the first one for 249,000, but the, I, t- I put them on 15 year mortgages. They yeah. were all paid off. So I sold the first one and bought four homes in Dallas, Texas. So I split it up and bought four homes in Dallas. I held those for 10 years. So I put 10 grand down to buy that condo and I bought it for 88. It was paid off. I sold it for 250. So I made 250 grand. So I sold that and put 60 grand down on four separate homes that I bought for about 80 grand a piece in Dallas. I sold all those for 300 grand a piece uh, 12 years later and took in 1.2 million. I took another one and bought two houses in Colorado Springs that I still own that are free and clear. They're worth 500 K now. I took another one took that 250 grand, bought a house because after my son was born, I needed a home to raise my son. Mm-hmm. So I sold that one for 250, bought a house for 320 that I lived in for eight, 19 years. I sold that one for 1.1 million. And then I used the other one to start my business and fund my business. So I took $40,000 and bought Four condos, put $10,000 a piece on these four condos. Instead of buying a little Mercedes, like everyone, oh, you need a car. I go, I have a Buick Sky, it takes me where I want to go. So I took that $40,000 and parlayed it into $13 million in 20 years. Nothing but that money by getting the first appreciation, turning the hundred or turning the the 40,000 into a million by selling four condos for 250,000 a piece that were all paid off. Then between my home, my business, the four houses in uh, Dallas, well, Fort Worth, and the two houses in Colorado, I turned 40 grand into 13 million. Holy shit. My man, Jeff. If I, I would have taken that 40 grand and bought a Mercedes, 10 years later, it would have been worth eight grand. Yeah, immediate depreciation as soon as you drive it off the lot. You, you I buy <laughs> shit that appreciates, okay? To this yes, day, yes. I just I just bought my first new car ever. It's my Tesla because you use Teslas are the same as new. They don't depreciate. I want an electric yeah. car. So I've had a Bentley. I've had an AMG uh, Brabus Mercedes. I've had uh, a 12-cylinder uh, 800 series BMW. I've had every luxury car you've ever had. I have never bought one new. Prime example, one of my neighbors who's very wealthy, he had 12 cars at the time. I bought his Bentley GT convertible. He bought it in 2012 and he paid 237 grand. The thing was still in the glove compartment. I bought it in 2014, two years later. Hmm. It had 9,000 miles on it. He paid 237 grand plus tax and all that shit. 
He was going to trade it in with 9,000 miles two and a half years later for 88,000 because those things depreciate 100,000 when you drive them off the lot. I bought it from him. I drove it for three years and put 11,000 miles and sold it for 83. So he, de- he had it depreciate $150,000. I had it depreciate five and I drove yeah. it more than he did. <laughs> I let someone, I don't buy shit that depreciates. I just don't do it. I buy stuff that appreciates, okay? I always wanted to see what a Bentley was like. And trust me, even in Summerlin, Nevada, which is totally upscale, and even in Huntington Beach and Newport Beach, there's a lot of Benzes. There's a lot. But you drive up in a Rolls Royce or you drive up in a Bentley, people are like, who's that? 